Hey guys, this is Ian Campbell with Mission Suite. I am the CEO of Mission Suite, actually. And today I am starting on a new venture. I'm starting a new challenge. Uh, my, I've challenged myself to do one Facebook Live video every day, Monday through Friday at least, uh, for the next month. And so for at least the next four weeks of Mondays, what Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays, you're going to see something coming out of me uh, here on Facebook, on LinkedIn, on Twitter, on YouTube, etc. Uh, so I know that this is late, but uh, I'm not going to lie to you. It took me a little while to work up the nerve to actually go live and start doing this here. So um, now I will tell you that I know nothing about video. I'm not a videographer. I am not a lighting guy. I'm not an editor. I know nothing about this stuff. Uh, I spent some time performing once upon a time, but that was a long time ago. So this is going to be a learning experience for me, and I hope that you'll uh, bear with me through this. I'm willing to bet that the first few of these are probably going to suck, but I'm going to say that that's okay, and I'm going to rock and roll with it anyway. So um, anyway, I want to kind of kick things off with uh, something that I recently talked about on our blog, um, probably two, three weeks ago now, I think it was. Um, and that's, uh, the, that's kind of the, the topic of CRM price, CRM sales, marketing software, pricing, uh, pricing models. Now, if you know me at all, you know, you probably heard me, uh, talking a lot about, um, talking a lot about the way that CRMs are priced and that, uh, we've kind of ended up in a position recently where we have, <clears throat> where we've just kind of accepted it because it's what we've always known, right? I mean, CRM pricing models, marketing, marketing software, any of these things, anything from Salesforce to Marketo to HubSpot to Infusionsoft, um, you know, all the way back to Microsoft and Office and all that, those things, these all, they're, they're, they've always been priced on a per user basis, right? You've always had to buy licenses for them. And this goes back to, as far as I can remember, to like Windows 95, if I remember correctly. Um, but uh, probably even before that, for that matter. But, uh, but recently what I've been talking a lot about, and I've, I've had this conversation with a lot of my clients of late, is that, um, is that <clears throat> CRM pricing models don't actually, should not actually be priced on a per user basis. Um, that's my, I, that's, I'm a firm believer in that. There is no reason for it uh, that actually benefits the business owner, the person who's buying the software, uh, to, be, to be priced out on a per user model. Um, obviously, I can't fault these vendors, uh, these folks, for having uh, set up the pricing model with the way that works for them. That that's, that's their right, and they've been very successful for it. Um, but, uh, but more often than not, what I've seen day in and day out as I've worked with a lot of these clients is that, um, is that pricing out on a per user basis isn't usually the best business decision for that client. Um, you know, it's rare. One, there's been one time that I've been called in on a, uh, on, a, on, a, on a conversation with a client who had five people working for them and four and a half million contacts. They're a recruiting company. And so they had a ton of contacts in there in their database. And so, yeah, in that case, uh, pricing, you know, their, their, their pricing model worked out pretty well for them. But, uh, but overall, that's usually not the case. Um, the reason is because you know, realistically speaking, your revenue doesn't grow as your headcount grows, right? I mean, you add on five new salespeople or two new marketing people, they each need access to your database. They each, each need access to your CRM or your marketing automation software, or whatever it might be, but they're not making money for you yet. And so until they do, you shouldn't really have to pay for them, but you do with a lot of these pricing models. And, you know, I mean that, and of course, you know, I can pretty easily segue into the, 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 the reason that we've priced our system out, um, as a contact database size model. And if you take a look at our pricing page, uh, on our website, you'll see all of this. We will never charge on a per user basis. And the reason for that is that, is that most of our clients, I'm going to say the vast majority of our clients are not going to grow in revenue automatically because they hired new people, right? That's just not the way that it works. Um, you hire a salesperson, that salesperson may or may not be successful. That salesperson may or may not even use their database, right? And if they're not using it, you still have to pay for them, but why? 
And so with a, with, a, with a contact database size pricing model, it ends up being a lot more beneficial for you because you don't actually have to start paying more until, um, until, you are, until, you have to, to, until they actually start performing, until they start, uh, until they start putting more uh, contacts into the database, until they start making more, until they actually start making money for you. And the closest correlation that we can get to with, um, with your sales team being successful and your marketing efforts being successful and our software pricing model is with is by saying that the more contacts that your sales team puts into that database, the more contacts that your marketing team pulls in from uh, from social media, from SEO, from paid search, whatever the case might be, the more money that you that you ultimately have the opportunity to make because contacts equal money. So, anyway, we're not the only ones that do this. I'm, and I'm, I'm you know this is certainly not supposed to be a pitch session, although I can I can sure make it one if you want it to be. But uh, we're not the only ones that are doing this. We're not. Uh, there are other systems that are out that, that are. Uh, there are other systems out there that are pricing on a contact basis and not by the not by the user count and so i would be i, I would tell you before making a decision, you've got to make it the best decision for your company, of course, right? But before making your decision, take a look at some of these other systems, right? Take a look at Mission Suite. Take a look at Green Rope. Take a look at some of these other tools that are out there that are pricing on a, on uh, on the that are pricing based on the size of your database. Because ultimately speaking, you're probably going to end up saving a lot of money and still getting the same functionality. So, anyway, this is day one. Day one of what twenty, I think, for uh, of, of these live videos. So uh, I hope it was. Uh, I, I hope you liked it. And uh, and either way, I will. Uh, I will talk. I will see you soon. And I will. I'll be back on this.